over today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! No teachers, no classes, no homework, and no teachers. Eddie, you said no teachers twice. And I'm gonna keep saying it, Kurt, until there is peace in the galaxy. Er, rather than dwell on what we leave behind, I prefer to focus on what we've gained. Freedom to do whatever our young hearts and minds desire. Yeah, a whole week of nothing but movies, video games, comic books, Hey, and... Lloyd! Wait for me! Francine, what are you doing here? My play date at Betsy's house is over, so her big sister Judy was taking me home. But since you're here, I'll go home with you, Lloyd. Oh, no, you won't. I'm not going home. Me and the guys are going to hang out. Yeah, we're going to the arcade. The arcade? Yay, I love the arcade. Bye, Judy. I'm going to the arcade with my big brother, Lloyd. Cool. Judy, no! Don't go! Aw, oh, that's just great. Sure is, Lloyd. And after the arcade, you can take me to see the Daisy Droid Girls movie just like you promised me. Yeah, sure. We'll do that any day now. <sighs> Looks like we're stuck with her, guys. Sorry. Oh, well, Lloyd. You know what they say? The more, the merrier. Um, yeah. They do say that sometimes. But come on. Let's hit the arcade and spend some tokens. I gotta get something out of my system. Hey, wait for me. Maybe I can help. <laughs> Lloyd, look what I got. Not now. Busy. <laughs> Nebulon. Uh. Hey, that's interfering. Cut it out, Francine. Look at me. I'm Francine's uh. new Blimpy. I'm so cute. Cute, 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 cute. That's it. Time out. Time out. Lloyd, that pest is ruining our whole game. I ought to make you forfeit the match on account of she's your sister. Francine, this is exactly why I didn't want you to come with us. I'm real sorry, guys. Let me make it up to you. How about a round of Zeptar's chili fries? My treat. Well, it's kind of fun being ticked off at you. But heck, a guy's got to eat. Hooray, food! Thank you, Lloyd. You are a true gentleman. Yeah, thanks bunches, Lloyd. Except I don't like chili fries. Buy me a neutrino dog with just ketchup and some extra ketchup for dipping. And some sodium rings, too, with extra ketchup. And some cheese rods with ketchup. And her dolls were babies. And we played until Bitsy's mom brought us cookies. And they were so yummy that we ate and ate and ate. And then Bitsy got an upset tummy and she had to throw up. And it was real gross. But Francine, then... please be quiet. All that yakking is making it really hard to pretend you're not here. Whoa, mall girl alert, three o'clock. Ah, mall girls prowling their natural habitat. If only they would glance in our direction just once. Dream on, brother. Dream on. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're heading this way. Wait me. Um, hi. Uh, yeah, I mean hi. My friends and me, like, we just wanted to know, is this cute little girl your sister? Huh? That's right. I'm Francine. See my Blimpy? Oh, he's so what do you know, Lloyd? Francine's a mall girl magnet. Why, she lured them close enough to actually smell their perfume. Lloyd, old pal, I'm this close to forgiving you for dragging her along. Did you know I can read minds? Uh-oh. Really? Shut up. Watch. Uh, say, Francine, why don't we go get you some ice cream? Douglas likes you. Or she's paraphrasing, of course. But Eddie likes you more. He thinks you would be a good kisser. <gasps> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, boy. And Lloyd and Kurt like you. <laughs> but nobody likes you. Sorry. <gasps> <gasps> Mabel, come back! You guys are real jerks! Those girls are funny. How about if we get that ice cream now? There you go, Francine. The park. Yay, Sandbox! Come on, guys, let's play! Man, I've had it with that kid. She's totally getting on my nerves. She's ruined everything. Everything. Guys, I think the time has come for us to lighten our load, to cut loose the old brat and chain. Why, Lloyd, are you suggesting? And that's right, Douglas. We've got to ditch my little sister. Ditch her? You mean leave her all alone in the park? She won't be all alone. Look, 
Mrs. Lobozoid and her little preschool munchkin are right over there. Francine can ruin the rest of their day. The only question is, how do we do it? Fear not, my friend. The Duke of Dishington has already got a plan. Kurt, you distract Francine by pretending to play in the sand. When I give the code word, we split up and book, then meet at Boomer's Garage. Got it? Got, got it. it! Uh, what's the code word? Marshmallow. Oh, no thanks, Eddie. I'm too nervous about ditching Francine to eat. No, Kurt. That's the code word. No, Kurt, is the code word. Got it. That's a weird one. No, the code word is Marshmallow, Kurt. Oh, the code word is Marshmallow, Kurt. Got it. Marshmallow, Kurt it is. Let's do this thing. Say, Francine, that's a pretty good sandcastle you got there. I know it is, but what are you? Uh, Kurt loves sandcastles, don't you, Kurt? Uh, I sure do. Can I help, Francine? Okay, here, this is your shovel. Okay! Gee, Douglas, isn't it great to be hanging out in the park with Francine? Indeed! What better way to spend our lunar equinox break than sandy play? You know, this kind of reminds me of the time I was sitting around doing something, and then, uh... The next thing I knew, marshmallows, Kurt! Now we fill the bucket with sand. Hey, where did everybody go? <gasps> they ditched you already? I didn't even hear the code word. Code word? Ditched me? Hey, I should have known Lloyd would try something mean like that. He's always trying to get rid of me. Now I'm all, all, all alone. <laughs> there, there, Francine. Don't feel bad. At least we're all alone together. We are? Sure. All right, then get back to playing. <laughs> All right, Dougie, you made it. Yeah. All oh, right. Yes. Yo, amigos, where's your fourth wheel? Kurt's on his way, Boomer. And when it gets here, Operation Sister Ditch will be accomplished. Sister Ditch, huh? Good band name. Hey, that is good. Come to think of it, fourth wheel's a righteous band name, too. Or, hey, how about Righteous Sister? That's rad. Hey, the rad wheels. Good pen name. Sonic Toast! Meat Pie Dilettantes! Slum Honey! The Royal Canoes! Whoa, man! It's astounding how many band names you can dream up in a half hour. Half an hour? Kirk should definitely be here by now. Oh, man! We better head back to the park and look for him. But Francine may spot us. We'll be sucked back into our vortex of annoyance. That's a chance we'll have to take, Doug. We can't leave one of our men behind. Let's go. Later, Boomer! Later, Boomer. Good pen name. <gasps> Sweet mother of Muffton! She's torturing the poor boy! Francine, you fiend! Enough is enough! First you follow us everywhere and ruin everything, and now you force Kurt to play a little kid junk with you? Run, Kurt! Run for your life! But Francine didn't force me to play. Ring around the Curdy was my idea. Say what? Me and her been having lots of fun since you guys ditched us. Yeah, so get lost, Lloyd. Let's go play Princess next. Princess? Needle! <laughs> that there? That's just wrong. Look at him. Just look at him. It's not natural, I tell ya. Yeah. I mean, why in the void would a 13-year-old guy want to play the stupid little games of a 5-year-old girl? Do you think she's controlling his brain? I don't know. It seems like he's really having fun. But the real issue here is that if Kurt wants to spend time with Francine, it's not our place to stop him. Well, I guess there is a positive side to all this. I mean, if Francine's hanging out with Kurt, she ain't hanging out with us. Hey, that's right. Guys, I think our prayers have been answered by a blobby blue angel. We finally got rid of her after all. And finally, we can enjoy life the way it ought to be. Fun-filled and Francine free! So let's stop yapping and get goofing off. <laughs> Hey, Francine, throwing flowers in the water is hysterical. I never imagined they would float. The best part is ripping them off the bushes. Hey, I got an idea. Let's see if sticks and rocks will float, too. Nah. <sighs> I'm getting kind of tired. So take me home, Spliggyback style. I love giving Spliggyback rides. I'm a little Spliggy. Spoink, spoink, spoink. Climb up on my udder. <sighs> Thanks, Kurt. This is turning out to be the funnest day ever. Yeah, I wish we could play again tomorrow since there's no school. Hey, that gives me another idea. Let's play again tomorrow since there's no school. Yay, and maybe the next day, too. And maybe the next day after the next day. We can play all week long. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Crontars for making my life a little sweeter. He's gonna need the cash. I saw him this morning taking Francine to the Daisy Droids movie. Daisy Droids? That's that dumb movie I promised I'd take her to. Why, how convenient. Thanks to Kurt, now you can go back on your brotherly promises with a clear conscience. Yeah, it's funny, Lloyd. I mean, having Francine out of our lives is the greatest thing ever. But having you out of her life, she probably doesn't even notice the difference. Uh, yeah. Hey, I hadn't really thought of it that way. Well, it's true, Lloyd. She's perfectly happy now that she's with Kurt. Probably the happiest I've ever seen her. Why, you should have seen them walking into Uncle's Lumo's puppet theater around noon today. The puppet theater? Oh, man, I promised to take her there, too. Dodge that laser beam, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky me. Look, it's Francine with me. What in the Shrek is on your face? We went to the kitty carnival and got our faces painted. I'm a pretty flower. And I'm a spooky space tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt, you're the funniest boy I ever knew. Hey, uh, he wasn't that funny. That's okay, Lloyd. It's an inside joke. We wouldn't expect you to understand. Uh, you two weren't planning on hanging out with us, were you? Yes, Francine. Wouldn't you much rather be off with Kurt having the most wonderful time of your life? You bet. We just thought we'd say hi. Now we're leaving. Already? Well, where are you going? Sorry, Nebulon, it's a secret. Come on, buddy. See you guys. Man, I thought they'd never leave. There's certainly nothing to keep them here. And thanks all for that, right, Lloyd? Right, Eddie. As far as I'm concerned, the less I see Francine and Kurt together, the better. Mom, I'm home. Come in to dinner. I sure hope you're serving up some comfort food, because I could use a big old bowl of Kurt? Hi, Hi Lloyd. Lloyd. What? What's he doing here? Francine invited me to dinner. He's my specialist company. Sit down, honey. I'll serve you up a plate. But, hey, Kurt's in my chair. Where am I supposed to sit? Not to worry, Lloyd. You can sit on the guest stool. Gee, thanks. <laughs> honey, you seem kind of down. Maybe this will help cheer you up. I made our famous Nebulon family Finbat casserole. Oh man, not Finbat casserole. What do you mean, Lloyd? It's delicious. <laughs> may I please have some more? Why, yes, you may, Kurt. It's nice to have at least one boy in this house who likes my cooking. <laughs> and my jokes, too. You arrived just in time, Lloyd. Francine was starting to tell us about her fabulous day with Kurt. Please, Francine, do go on. Well, Kurt took me to the puppet theater, and it was great, because the puppets were real funny. <laughs> They bucked each other on the head! Okay, Officer Ding Dong, I warned you! <laughs> oh, wow, that is funny! <laughs> that must have been some performance. Yeah, really. Hey, anyone want to hear about my day? I got the 13th high score in the arcade Screeball game. Oh, and what is Screeball exactly? Uh, it's this game with the ball in the arcade. So, Francine and Kurt, where did you go after the puppet theater? We went to the carnival. It was great. We did the beanbag toss, but I used my brain to throw Kurt instead. We won, but the man got mad and yelled, go away! <laughs> <laughs> it was funny the whole time. Then we ate cotton candy and crackle dogs, and I hardly got sick at all. It's making me sick just hearing about it. What's that, Lloyd? Nothing. And for the first time ever, I got to ride on the Speedy Top roller coaster, because finally I had a bigger kid with me who would go on it. Ooh, wow, Kurt. The Speedy Top roller coaster. I bet that was thrilling. Oh, no, Lloyd. It was terrifying. But then Francine told me to relax, and I did just fine. She was really looking out for me. Hey, Goofball, look out for this! <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Kurt's throwing spiggle sprouts at me. <laughs> she threw one at me first. Oh, you two. Now knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just wonderful that Francine has found a boy as nice as Kurt to play with. She did? Who, Lloyd? No, she was talking about you, silly. Hey, I'm not silly. You're silly. No, you're silly. No, you're silly, Willy. No, you're silly, Willy Nilly. No, you're silly, Willy Nilly, Kabilly, Babilly. You're both silly. This whole stupid thing is silly and stupid. Perhaps he's having girl trouble? Stupid, dumb, annoying, stupid... Go away! Hi, Lloyd! Francine, I said go away! Why'd you even bother knocking if you're just gonna barge right in? I didn't knock, Kurt did. We were worried about you, Lloyd. Yeah, you seem kinda bugged. Nothing's bugging me except for you guys. So can you get out of here? 
Not until we cheer you up. Believe me, you two do not have it within your power to cheer me up, except by leaving. So go away. But Lloyd, we have a surprise. What are you talking about? Ta -da! What's that? Look for yourself. Bur other sister? I don't get it. It's an official certificate. I made it myself. But what's it supposed to mean? It means you never have to worry about me tagging along with you again. Because you're not my big brother no more. Today, I'm officially adopting Kurt as my new big brother. Isn't it wonderful, Lloyd? <sighs> wonderful? It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. That certificate isn't official. It's just a grand drawing. I spit on your certificate. And besides, Kurt can be your big brother even if you wanted him to. In case you haven't noticed, he's not even the same species as you are. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Mm. But not to worry. Hold still, Kurt. I'll fix that in a jiffy. Ooh. Hey, hey, this tickles. Huh? Hmm, something's missing. Whoa! Look at me, Lloyd! I've completely replaced you with me! But, Francine! It's okay, Lloyd. You can thank me later. Come on, big brother Kurt. Let's go have some fun so Lloyd can be alone. Okay, sis. La la la. La la la. la. Big brother Kurt? It's just plain wrong. A guy doesn't come in and steal another guy's little sister. Who does Kurt think? Anyway, maybe he's just a guy who figures he's doing you a favor. Yes, after all, you were constantly scheming to get rid of Francine. Why would you rather hang out with him than me, huh? I'm a good big brother, aren't I? Aren't I? Uh, sure. Except perhaps for that constantly scheming to get rid of her thing. You're right. I am a good big brother. And a good big brother doesn't just stand around and let another guy push him out of the picture. It's a matter of pride. Kurt is not going to trample all over my pride with his big dumb feet. Well, what can you do about it? I'm going to do what I have to do. I'm going inside, I'm tracking those two down, and I'm taking back what's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Just two more buckets on your face and you'll be all done. Thanks, sis. I never knew that being a big pile of sand could be so much fun. Hey, want to go get big glorps? You got it, bro. Just as soon as we're finished. I think you'll be finished right now. Ah, it's a big scary shadow and it's come to eat us. Nah. It's just Lloyd. Playtime's over, Francine. You're coming with me. Kurt, I'll thank you to remain on the sand pile and make this as painless as possible. Hey, let go of me. I don't want to go with you. I was having fun. I was too, Lloyd, until you horrified me with your shadow. You I'll deal with later. And you. So you want fun, huh? Fun is what you're after? Well, you can have just as much fun with me as Weber did with that guy. No, I can't. Kurt's bunches of fun. You're no fun at all. Oh, really? Well, we'll just see about that. Come on. Are you guys going to leave me here? More tea, ladies? How about some more tea? <laughs> Isn't this tea party fun? <laughs> uh, actually, no. Kurt was more funner. <sighs> Yeehaw! Yeah, yeah! Here we go now. We are having one big blast. Ain't that right, partner? You're all gross and sweaty. Kurt doesn't get all gross and sweaty. <sighs> You, Kurt. Great! Let's go have some more fun! That sounds fun! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, no, you don't! Back off, homewrecker! Francina, stay with me! I think you heard the girl, Lloyd! She wants to be with me! Well, too bad, because you're not taking her! Oh, yes, I am! Oh, no, you're not! Yes, I am! No, you're not! Yes, I am! No, you're. Oh. Hey, I really am! Come on, sis! But no! Francine, wait! You gotta come with me! You just gotta! Please? Oh, really? And just exactly how come is it I gotta go with you? Because you're my little sister, and I'm your big brother. The big brother needs his little sister. And, well, I need you. Well, thanks for helping, Kurt. You're welcome. Sure took him long enough. Big surprise. What? Well, what are you two talking about? We tricked you, Lloyd. Huh? What do you mean? Well, Kurt and me were having a really great time playing together. And I knew it was bugging you, because I can read your mind. So Francine came up with this really funny plan. She started spending all her time with me, and even made me into her brother. It made you really mad and crazy. How hilarious. But why would you do that? Because you're always trying to get rid of me, that's why. I always knew you needed me. If I weren't your little 
little sister, you'd be sad. Well, if you knew all along, why'd you go through all that trouble? Cause, Lloyd, now you know it, too. <sighs> well, I hate to admit it, but... You already admitted it, Lloyd. So, you can be my big brother again. Thanks, sis. Well, see you later. Bye! Hey, whoa, wait! Where are you going? The Patton Zoo. We made plans. Oh, well, mind if I tag along? Okay, Lloyd. Just try not to embarrass us around the little kids. I'll do my best. Um, Francine, can you do me a favor before we go? Sure, buddy. Can you make me good-looking again? Oh, yeah! Oh, thanks, Francine. That's better. I gotta say, Lloyd, being Francine's big brother sure can make a guy's head hurt. You ain't kidding, Kurt. You ain't kidding.